Today we've got our hands on the new crucial T700 2TB M.2 NVMe SSD. Taking advantage of PCIe 5.0, this drive is one of the first new generation SSDs on the market. Hello and welcome to Box, where we unbox, review and demonstrate all the latest tech. Once you've got the box open, you'll find the SSD in this little plastic case, as well as all the various documentation you'd expect. The T700 comes in a 1, 2 or 4 terabyte model, with or without the heatsink, and the model we have here is the 2 terabyte with premium heatsink version. The heatsink is made of aluminium and nickel plated copper, and with this chunky engineered metal design, the heat dissipates passively and evenly, which is always a bonus. With the heatsink, the drive comes up to just over 1.5cm in depth, but that chunkiness lends itself to the added thermal performance, which we'll come back to in a minute. Installation is fairly simple as with any M.2 drive, but given this is a new Gen 5 drive, you'll need a compatible motherboard if you want to make full use of the read and write speeds, and you do. The T700 boasts a 12,400MB per second sequential write speed and 11,800MB per second sequential read speed. In the Crystal Disk Mark test, the T700 performed well in the sequential read tests, with scores matching its stated specs. In sequential write tests, however, I did find there was a drop off between the two sequential write speeds. The T700 managed a transfer of just over 60GB from an external HDD in 9 minutes and 20 seconds. Extended file transfers like this bottleneck the drive as they do any drive, but during smaller file transfers, the T700 was managing 4 to 6 gigabytes per second on average. It's also worth mentioning that the hard drive itself would have limited the speeds that the T700 could potentially reach. If you were to use two M.2 SSDs within the same machine and move data between them, it's likely you'd reach much higher speeds. The drive sat at around 33 degrees when idle and reached 58 degrees under load. That's not too shocking considering it had been operating at full speed for just under 15 minutes by this point, but the thermal performance of Gen 5 drives may become a bit of a concern going forward. While the T700 stayed within safe temperature limits, it did so with the addition of the premium heatsink, thereby reinforcing how important cooling is for these kinds of drives. So how important is PCIe Gen 5 for your M.2 SSDs? Well, PCIe just refers to the connections between your drive and your motherboard. Generation 5 is the newest and most updated standard for a PCIe connection, and it essentially doubles the transfer rates and therefore doubles the potential speeds of your drive. In order for this to work, you need PCIe Gen 5 compatible devices like this T700 SSD and the Z690E motherboard in this short blast PC. It's worth mentioning that the PS5 only uses PCIe Gen 4, meaning that you won't be able to make the most out of the Gen 5 SSD if you're on a console. However, the great thing about PCIe is that newer generations are backwards compatible, meaning that even if you have a Gen 4 or Gen 3 motherboard, you can still plug this device in. The drive will run at the speed of the slowest device, whether that is your drive or your motherboard. So even though you can plug this into an older model, it doesn't really make sense to as you won't get any of the speed advantages. Crucial's T700 is a feat of new generation engineering, but you won't notice a massive difference between last generation drives for things like gaming. The T700 shines most with its incredible sequential read and write speeds. This drive will benefit you the most if you're someone who does a lot of large data transfers looking to upgrade to the latest and greatest. The 2TB with heatsink model that we have here is a great choice, and if you plan to buy without the heatsink, do ensure you have appropriate cooling options before installing and using this SSD. So what do you think of Crucial's T700 SSD? Let us know down below in the comments. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.